Hey everybody, um, Ichabod and I, where does he go? He's right down there, I believe. And he's hanging out down here with me. Our back from uh, our expedition up north for a family business. Um, I'm just putting a really quick video up. Uh, we're right in the middle of, uh, actually right at the start of this uh, hurricane coming through. And it isn't very far from us as far as the eye wall and uh, the high winds are expected to be. Um, the uh, current track takes it, uh, I'm guessing if it follows the track guidance, is going to be about uh, barely 40 miles away from us. So we're going to be right at the edge of the, of the, um, you know, the strongest winds from the eye wall. And that would be south of us and east of us. So at least we'd be on the west side the cleaner side of the storm, uh, kind of like the last one. What was the name of that one in 2017? I can't even think right now. So I got everything inside here in the garage. The um, the shed's got nothing in it of any significant value, but it's, uh, you know, it's strapped down pretty good. I don't really expect that to go anywhere, hopefully. What I'm more concerned about is trees falling down on the house or any uh, structural damage of that kind. Uh, right now, um, this thing's moving super slow and uh, it's expected to hang out for a while and not diminish terribly much uh, even after landfall as far as intensity goes. So what we're dealing with here is probably the worst case scenario except for a perhaps a direct hit and it still may do that because if it goes a little bit more toward the north northeast as opposed to northeast track and it eventually will, it's supposed to curve almost due north once it gets into the middle of the state uh, we could be, you know, into some significant problems here. So uh, here's the deal. Um, I'm just going to put this up real quick while we still have power uh, and let you know that, um, you know, if, uh, if we can still produce content uh, for a while uh, after all this goes by, in other words, it isn't all that terrible, then I will do that. But if not, uh, it's, we're going to be down for quite a while, if not permanently. So we'll have to see what happens. I'm not trying to over dramatize this but unfortunately this is a pretty serious situation um, when it gets a little lighter out I'm gonna try to get some shots of what it's doing outside hopefully if we have little you know we have power still I do have a generator here of course but this generator won't cover the entire house it'll only cover a certain amount of circuits I do have it back feedable and I cut off the mains and then um, just power certain circuits in the house that we need so we can keep like communications going and the refrigerator, of course, the all-important septic pump. <laughs> Got to be able to poo, right? So, yeah, so far we still have power, as you can see, but um, I expect that not to last very long, historically speaking, out here, being kind of in a country setting with uh, pretty much exclusively above-ground power. Um, it's it's going to go out. There's no question about it. I have a shit ton of fuel. This is only two cans of it. Um, what I ended up doing was, uh, because I just got back yesterday, I just got back from, uh, you know, my trip yesterday with the dog, and uh, I would tow in the trailer, you know, it cuts down on time, fuel economy, and so forth, but I was really concerned about actually being able to get fuel down here at all for my generator can, so I stopped in um, South Georgia, just north of the Florida line, uh, I researched it the night before at a hotel and found a Pet Boys, I mean an O'Reilly's, I'm sorry, O'Reilly's Auto Parts. And I purchased four or five gallon cans and then filled them up up there. So I actually transported four, you know, five gallon cans of gas, so 20 gallons of gas back with me from there. And so that's what I have on hand. There are a couple out in the shed, but like I said, I don't expect that to go anywhere. So I got plenty of generator fuel. I filled up a fifth five gallon can when I got down here. There's no ethanol free available anywhere, so I'm having to burn the, the ethanol fuel, unfortunately, but it is what it is, you know. Beggars can't be choosers. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna try to get some shots outside. We'll show you what it's go what's going on once it gets a little lighter out. It's getting pretty bad. Like I said, I'm, um, I'm really concerned about the uh, trees falling on the house, one on the corner of the house. In fire service terms, that would be side the side A, B corner, okay? So if you're looking at the front of the house, that's side A, and it always goes clockwise. So it's A in the front, and then the left side, if you will, looking at it from the front is side B. So the A, B corner is where I have that big 
uh, oak tree out there and I'm really kind of concerned about that and although I have had a cut back a few times over the years uh, we are um, you know it, it's definitely a potential for for you know severe damage if it fell on the house at least a big limb and there are some big limbs I estimate that tree's probably 80 years old so you know it's a pretty big tree but anyway we'll um we'll get you some shots when I can I think that pretty much updates everybody and uh, hopefully I can even get this up on the channel so you know what's going on with me and uh, yeah we'll uh, check back with you later oh uh, one other quick thing yeah uh, before I do that uh, if everything goes okay and we're not destroyed here or set back significantly to the point where I you know basically say hey we're gonna have to put this crap on hold for a long time if not indefinitely well there you go see we're losing power here shortly Oh, and there it goes. What would, what would I tell you? So, let me go shut things down. Yeah, well, good timing. I didn't even plan that. All right. Okay, it's uh, three weeks later. No, just kidding. Uh, yeah, so the power just came back on. That's good. So, we're about to lose it. So, I'll see if I can get this up. So, I'll see if I can get it up, which is hard now these days, you know. Okay, that's another video. But we'll see if we can get this video up and um, and tell you what's going on with this. But what I wanted to say was, if we can get everything going here and, uh, you know, everything continues as I hope it will. I brought some really cool stuff back from my mom's house. This is old stuff that um, goes back. Uh, one one piece is a, is a tool bench that I used to use when I was younger, and I mean really younger, that dates back probably to the 1940s or certainly the 50s that's been in, in the family for about 60 something years so I have that and I have a spot for it here in my workspace that I'm gonna be modifying some some shelving back there and I'm gonna be putting it in the back of the shop here it's gonna be really cool I'll show you about that I'll show you that rather and tell you about it uh, because it has a lot of history and plus I bought I brought back a lot of other you know stuff as well that I think will be kind of interesting to show you that'll also be included like in tools and things like that that my dad had um, that will uh, hopefully be in some videos that's if we're not completely destroyed here so yeah I hope that's not the case and I hope I can get back to you in the future so with that it's getting a little lighter out we'll go ahead and show you some shots outside hopefully we, like I said we still have power to upload this and um, that way you can see what's going on so uh, just keep uh, keep us in your thoughts and uh, we'll uh, see what we can do in the future if anything till then well there's the back and we have uh, a lake again although I put 60 tons of dirt out there to fill in some low spots it's still some areas that are gonna get some water standing water uh, but it's not as bad as it was so uh, that'll drain off pretty quick once all this stops. But uh, they're talking about rain in the 20 to 24 inch. That's again, 2-0 to 2-4 inch range. So two feet of rain. So uh, I'm not worried about that building up because it'll flow, you know, that way. It'll flow that way, the way it's designed, the way I had the uh, dirt put in. So I'm not really too worried about that. But you can see, this is what happened with Irma. We had so much debris laying around that it took me about two weeks to, to clean it up and I'm talking about two weeks of like five to seven hours a day out in the yard picking up shit and bringing it up to the road yeah lots of fun that's that tree I was telling you about I'm not really too sure if it's gonna hold up or not I really hope it does I mean you know it's not it's not sick or anything it's a pretty big tree I mean that damn base of that tree is probably you know four or five feet across. And this is just the beginning. There is not much wind right now, comparatively speaking, to what it'll be in a couple hours. Couple of small limbs. I'm gonna, I gotta move some vehicles here in a minute. I'm gonna keep my trailer over there, but I gotta move the my wife's car and my truck up closer to the house. Actually, I probably shouldn't be standing underneath that tree, huh? All 
All right, um, so you got an idea of what we're uh, dealing with. And again, this is nothing. This is just some beginnings. This thing is still offshore down south. So probably about later today is where we're going to have the worst of it. And maybe we can get some video and if the channel and we still exist as far as the capability of generating content, I'll put it up. No promises. Catch you later.